Hello gang, welcome to Freeform Friday. For day, today, I'm gonna cover Bounty Train. Now this is a little game, indie game that came out a little while ago. And literally this year, it was a few months back. And I love the look of it, I love the read of it, but it was just one of those, my hands were so full with other things about tech and other stuff going on at the time that was like, you know, I don't really have the time. That was, price wasn't bad, but, you know, I didn't have the time more than anything. And quite simply, Steam put it up, or the game creator decided to put it out there for about 80% off. So it's just one of those, it's like, not even five bucks. So I grabbed it, and I'll be completely honest, I have lost the majority of spare time for a couple of straight days. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, it has two modes. It has a story mode and a free game mode. In both cases, let's try, I just went in with the free game and actually, you know what? Now, let's kick on back and just so you can see it. New game. There you go. Campaign. Walter Reed was the son of a railroad tycoon who got killed, poisoned. I haven't actually looked up how... It's supposed to be based on accurate historical events type thing. I haven't taken time to look. That's bad of me. Naughty me. But and you, in the campaign, you follow his effort to gather enough shares of the Union Pacific of his father's railroad, of his father's dream, to take control of the company and create the East-West Railroad without having to plow through Indian lands and cost thousands of people's, people their lives. It's a fun little campaign of, you know, chase the camp. That's getting louder and louder the longer I sit here. Anyway, it's got a bunch of entertaining quests. Now, the free game starts basically the same way, same spot, but no story mode, no tutorial. All right, Portland, not Portland, Oregon. Portland, wow, that is loud. Why did I never notice that before? I should have kind of looked here. I could convert that over to American instead of metric. Not that it really matters. I know both. I'm good with both. Anyway, Portland, north of Boston. And I can't go anywhere. You got a thousand dollars to start out with. And okay. In the campaign game, this is already open. I have a license. Ah, requirement. One, one Portland to Boston Railroad license. Now you can roll back and forth in your little steam engine, but we're not going to waste resources. Now you start. Here's Portland. The folks with gold are usually ones you can hire to work on your train. Blue are passengers, and there's some other colors running around too. Walter is green. Now up here, top, you can go to the right, and you go into the market. This is where you can buy stuff, put it on your train, and go to other towns to sell it, which I've found to be the most effective way of making money. But to keep up on prices, you want to go to the post office and subscribe. Now, wherever you go, you'll have the prices from Portland. Now, the tutorial, it runs you through and you have to raise that thousand dollars. You start with a couple hundred. And it walks you through the different basic cars. The small passenger carriage, the small cargo carriage, and the extra small caboose. And you can see the logo out of the hat. Cabooses. Carry your staff, your security personnel, your engineers for your railroad. Cargo carriages, carry cargo, and... Come on, bring the, pop the name up. Passenger carriages, carry passengers. Sometimes passengers have cargo you have to carry too. It's a fun juggling game. 
one thing that annoys me a bit is if you look in there, you can see there's multiple chairs. But it only carries two. It's like uh, ICC for at least four. If you mirror that on the other side, that's eight folks. But that's just me. So. Hmm. Once you need to pick it up, bloop. Drop it on the rail. And attach it to your engine. Yay. Now, you've got to buy coal. You've got to keep coal. And all your stuff is down here in the bottom right. How much coal you've got in tons. Your train's weight first. Your allowed weight. You go over that, your train doesn't go nowhere. And the more it weighs, the slower you go. It's very realistic in that. It's very fun. But this is effectively where you start. Although this is completely different than in the storyline mode. You know what? Let's just go to Boston. That'll allow us to subscribe to their paper and get... You know, you know, what, you know what the prices are going to be like. Alright. Now, every time you click on a place, it'll give you how long it takes to get there. In this case, a day, one day, six hours. Because... You are in a crappy little boiler on wheels. Go! This is going to cost me a half ton of coal. Think about that, a half ton of coal to push this thing all the way down here. You will find numerous shops, and in the storyline, you're pursuing the storyline, you're pursuing shares while also trying to keep up enough trade to keep money flowing to keep your railroad going, to buy bigger and better equipment, and become a badass, and eventually get your dad's railroad back. Now, it also takes place, you know, it starts slightly before the Civil War, and rolls into it. <sighs> and it gives you the opportunity, you know, just to have a little fun, you know, interact and with different historical figures, See, now I should be able to go to the market. Yes, and see, I can look at the stuff they've got that here and go, okay, what can I afford? Almost nothing. If I can help, see, cotton, I can buy it here in Boston, then go back to Portland, sell it for 18. Buy it for 10, sell it for 18. Oh, ooh. Jewelry isn't that big of a thing, which is probably good because I just don't have that much money either. All right, what else they got? Alcohol. Hmm. I can buy it for 75, sell it for 114. Oh, and the guns already here. Those don't come out till about second year into the Civil War. So you can buy these, you can put them on your vehicles in some of the access ports. And when you've got crew, you've got staff that work your railroads, they can man those. Very effective to have. Uh, in one case, you know, it, you know, Indians, bandits, different individuals riding after your train, be going around, a, be going up around a turn, and as they come charging in, five, six strong on one side, just imagining their faces as they come face to face with the side of rail cars. You're going around the turn, and there's a Gatling gun with, in my case, a blonde lady behind it. In the case of my main game, the storyline campaign game I've been playing, been playing. And she just basically cuts everybody down. <laughs> Luton salvage is low, though. You know, train gets stopped by, you know, block tracks and you get attacked by a dozen bandits. And you only salvage one rifle, one pistol. It's like, mm. So it does have that buggy thing that I've always had an annoyance with most games. You know, while that forward did not do that. You had tons of crap. A lot of it useless. All right, anyway. I was looking at alcohol. My coal is fine. What about medicine? No, that's not. It's more, less expensive, but has almost no profit margin. See, eight. Well, we got five slots. Three, seventy-five. I should be able to fill it with booze. Yes, I. Can. All right, with that, 
we go back to the station. And you will find specialty shops. And don't think those shops are there just for uh, your entertainment for games. Of oh, let's see if I can click on my image. Yes. Let's see, that was a boot shop. There's no place for outfit for boots. They come up in mini quests. Side quests, I would expect on the free and open game like this. In the main quest, the storyline, everything is there for a reason. At some point, you will need it. Yeah, I've got to look this guy up, because Walter Reed is also an army hospital. See if maybe one has something to do with the other. And, one day, 11 hours, I thought we would have been slowed down more than that carrying all this freight. Ooh, that was a bandit down there. That's not good. That'll... I saw him temporarily. That will be a bad thing. And I will die. Oh, why do I have the yummies? Okay. A great thing they did. Now, on the bottom, you can store stuff. Anything you want coming off your car, rail cars on the bottom of any map. Like, can we go back here? If I had personnel, I could pull them off and drop them and they'd wait right in here. Of course, in the depot yard, they go on the second rail section above you, but that's also where you do your repairs. All right, back to the market. Actually, this is a... But, bring it up, drop, yes, I'll do all five. Selling for 570, I made a $195 profit. Big money back in the... 1800s. Ugh. I almost tripped that one up. And now, once again, I can see... Oh! Well, if I want to try and smuggle guns into Boston, it's got a great profit margin. That's really the only thing that does. Let's see if I get put in jail. Actually, how many can I afford? I can afford to fill my stock hold. There we go. My coal is still good. This is probably a very, very, very bad idea, but we like those. And throughout the game, as you progress, it that little paper it pops up. More and more things will pop up showing themselves off. One thing I wanted to do is come in here. I see the cargo is not shown because this is where you adjust your train, you move things around. Also, you can click and get the basic stats on your engine. I'm in a DeWitt Clinton 040. I haven't figured out what the 040 means yet. And all these things over here, I don't really have the I don't have the money to. See, I can pay 140. I'm not going to to up my horsepower by 25. It looks like. Horsepower gives you more hauling power, gives you more speed. But everything here. You know, fire resistant materials so it doesn't burn and blow up. Armor plating takes more damage. You can carry more coal. Improved firebox, you use less. You know, the high speed booster, pressurize the steam, risk damaging the engine. Push in crappy early ones like this. And make it more durable. Need repairs yet? All right. <gasps> Ooh, I came and got it. I'm obviously moving along. Now, 400 for a two-seater, a thousand for a three-seater. One thing that bugged me a little bit: those prices don't change. Doesn't matter a year apart in the game from when you bought one. You always been wanting the thousand-dollar three-seater. It's still a thousand dollars as the three-seater. Unless it's one you beat up, battered, or enhanced, sold, and go back and want to buy. Go buy back later. Then it'll be whatever the appropriate value is by its damage and such, which was done by you. Alright, let's try and smuggle some guns into Boston. This is probably going to be very, very bad. Ooh, 
No. Um. Wow. A hundred percent. I'm going to be broke. Go back to Portland. Ah! End of month report. Yes, time moves that quickly. All right, let's go to the depot. Um, I might actually be spending some money. I am clearly not going to play this campaign because I've now made it pointless by trying to sneak those guns in. I'm basically bankrupted and trapped myself up here. I don't have enough coal to get there. Okay, I've got a little money. Let's get some more coal. Do -do -do -do. Bloop. No, I'm not wasting a half ton. There we go. All right. Now, it only changed it by 6%, so we're probably going to be facing a 94% and still get caught. Yeah. Let's do it. And that is it. That will bankrupt it. That will be the end of the game. All prohibited goods were confiscated. You lost five crates of weapons. You need to pay a fine. Please name the owner of the contraband goods. The person will be imprisoned for 30 days. Only one. Oh, because we got the newspapers, Buffalo. We got to fight. Buffalo has a small caboose available. And hanging up on the right side under each town name is your reputation there. In this case. Boston now hates us. And we have a debt of $830. Cool. Now, let's go to the other side of things. First run, as I said, fun things it lets you do. This is a part of my train. These are all the quests I've currently got going. I need to visit the town hall, but it's going to be done during the day. Now, I've got a fun little train of mine. During the early Civil War. Where's his name? Come on. This one had a custom name. Um, well, shoot. Oh, Union sympathizers. Oh, the general. Duh. Stole. You know, one of a kind. It was a unique built train. Very powerful. You get the chance to try and use your train to run it down and help it be recaptured. I managed. Barely. <laughs> I wrecked the cars I was trailing with me. They were in for repairs for days. Actually, I cut a couple of loose to get more speed. I could afford it at the time. Now I'm broke due to some in-game events. Sucks. Anyway. I don't have a lot put together on this one at the moment because I was trying to move fast. Ooh, you can see some of the things up here. The heavy armored carriage. Long passenger car carriage. Another little engine. That third button up here. This will show you your distance away, cities. If you've got any train parts, any carriage pieces. So this is where we're at up here. It's like... Here you are, and this is, we're in Detroit. Now this is the funny, for my, pass, my passengers on board, I've got a businessman, a bandit, who wants to get to Boston, and I'm being paid to transport Abraham Lincoln to Washington, D.C., so he can give a speech. Also, as the game goes on, you can own properties. I entered an auction and bought a hotel. You get monthly payments from them. Not much. There's my debris that I've left all over the map. Now, 
I've got the merchant wants to get to Ithaca, New York, Utica, New York. I'm going to get Lincoln to his inauguration and bring Hezekiah to Boston. Luckily, those line up. We've got plenty of coal. Actually, you know what? Let's get back here. Let's enhance our hopper. Got a little bit of money. Let's keep it over 3,000. There we go. That gives me an extra ton of space. Base. Let's go get an extra ton of coal. Good price on coal on this market. I've got no cargo carriages with me, which kind of sucks. Oh, that was really stupid. I was talking and not paying attention. I'm like 4.9. I just bought two tons and could only fit 1.1. Waste of money. What is blinking? Auction in Detroit for a restaurant. I don't have the money. I've got to hit my merchant route. The money or your life. I have a Gatling gun over here. Come see it to my train. All right. Oh, now this is a cool spread out map when you start unlocking it. Now you get things like bandit camps, native tribes, for nice fur and tobacco. We're looking for alcohol and weapons. Civil War is now going on, so now I've got Union and Confederate camps get, that will move across the map. Cities will be attacked. Sections of the rail you'll have to go around. I just don't have everything unlocked. Not even close. I've got some necessary pathways. Alright. But, I've got to get these three gentlemen to Utica, Boston and Washington. Luckily, this train was set up for speed, the way I've currently got it configured. I start picking up other cars, it'll slow down, but I'm not going to. We're just going to move. And guns be damn anything that gets in the way. I don't see my people. Everybody, yeah, okay. Down here, the five group members of the train. Uh, no, I'm good. Let's go. Take me two days to get there. I got seven to get the dude there. Good, 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 good. I'm not carrying no cargo, so I don't have to worry about any of that. That much kind of sucks. I'm depriving myself of income. So be it. Go. And yes. Sorry, that, you know, thank you for that. We'll do this for you guys. I don't want to just keep going at the moment because I've got people to deliver, but they pop up, and if you've got cargo space open, you can buy goods for them. Sometimes it's cheaper, sometimes it's not. And there usually be somebody standing around, either two merchants. What you doing, Gray Fox? No, you're looking for work. Our services will cost you 1205 you're interested in my skills. Tell me about yourself. And it brings up their character sheet. You can literally see the skills they've got, the weapons they use, on range, on melee, like it says. No, thanks. Now, one thing I do like is my crew. All this can be changed out. You've got spots in your belt where you can put medicine bottles, basically healing potions. You can put, I carry a stick of dynamite so I can throw it like a grenade. It's worked very nice several times. Although I'm out of spares except for the big bundle. Crap. I should have kept it there because here you can see you can get specialized skills. Kung Fu lessons will increase character's chance to evade range attacks by 1%. Characters learn to hold their breath while shooting, increasing the chances of dealing critical damage. Honing bullets, plus one to damage. Knowledge of the human anatomy will increase characters' critical strike chance in melee combat. And then I've got Gunslinger, level 9, and Medic 
healer at level one because I can't get it to work right. I'm horrible, horrible with it for some reason. There's the last I normally put behind the Gatling gun, just because. All right, well, if he's looking for work, what's Crazy Horse after? Crazy Horse is looking for work. I'm actually kind of surprised considering some of the names and just artists who it's used that I haven't heard screaming about this game. I like it. Oh, the general, that's my engine. And yes, the engine, the appearance, as you can tell, thinking back to my other one, you know, changes as you go. All right, we already stopped at the one. Let's keep going. Ooh, the Battle of Memphis is on. Oh, right, because Hezekiah is a uh, brigand. Yes, we want to enter the town. I've got somebody to drop off. Ha, ha, ha. We made it. The other person dro got dropped off, and we got paid. Bring ha Hamilton Landry to Utica. Any of you from that area, welcome to... You know, correct my pronunciation. All right. Oh, important thing. I've got a seat open. That's how I'm making money at the moment. So, let's see. Knoxville. No, we're not going that way. Chicago. Behind us. Portland. I'm not swinging north. Buffalo. Okay. This is all behind me in other directions. All right. I'm not picking up anybody new. That sucks. Now, post office, you can go in and access any time, day or night. Town Hall. Nine to nine. Oh, this one's open later. Is it signed to seven? Um, saloons are only open after nine o'clock in the evening. Ah, uh, completed. Shorten up that list. I'm good on coal, but let's check the prices. It's not a dire. All right. Bandit camp, we're gonna get hit. Yeah, so because I'm doing this for vid, I'd normally be more careful. This is the story campaign that I've been playing. I'm saving it before we go in. Now, the whole thing can be, uh, one thing I like about the game, as many of you who've been watching my stuff for years know, my left, my left hand and part of the forearm got crushed and messed up in Iraq. And I spent over three years just being able to pick up a coffee cup again. Lots of surgeries, physical therapy, and such. This entire game can be played with the right hand on the mouse. Purely mouse click and play. I like it. Alright, they're going to hit us as we go by. I'm supposed to be building my bandit poor. To be honest, one, I hate doing that. Two, it's more fun to gut them down. I love having a big, I mean, it was a day and change to get through here. It's going to take us 15 hours. What do you want here? I see I could pay him 310 and it would improve their attitude. And one of the side quests I've got to be able to buy some shares in the railroad is I've got to get it up to 50, positive 50, with overall bandits, which sucks. Um, I had it like negative 73. So I can find a kidnapped girl, so I've got to work on that. So you can pay them off, get positive rep. Nothing passing by, and you continue to try and travel. They might attack, they might not. Or, you know, just curious how you feel about some bullets to your head. You lose seven reputation, and they attack. There's other things, too. Too, you know, they'll say more and more nasty or stuff, and you say things like some interesting last words. You know what? I can make up the difference. I will make up the difference. Let's just kill these and have some fun. The 
coming. Mr. Lin Mr. Lincoln, if you can't get on the gun, then please get out of the way. Guys, move in. Get ready to fight. They are coming. Unfortunately, the crew serve, you've got to tell it to start engaging. Come on over here. There we go. Start cutting down. For the most part, they will fight automatically. Medicine bag. Use it. Heal up. I can't see my image. I'm going to activate a medicine bag. Sandro! Kill him! Get another one. Come on, come on, get in the... There we go! Oh, you're reloading the cannon. Dang it. I do have Lincoln on board. And apparently he won't fight. That's fine. A lot of folks won't. I've got to take the time and get this in for repairs. Get down here. Got him. Oh, I've got no cargo space. They had not nine barrels of alcohol. Since I can't take any of it, I'll lose it. Ah, chase made level. She and I both got bonuses to our shooting. Nice. And. We keep moving. And into Boston. All right. Hezekiah is delivered. I am paid. It's all good. All right. Stick with me for a couple minutes. Boston's not happy. I just dropped off a known criminal. But that should have also balanced out with having you shut up those bandits. Let's see if anyone else is wanting to head south. Washington, you can arrive with the president. Ooh, there's two of you. And excellent. Cargo car, passenger car is full, more or less. Oliver, please go take over the engine. All right. Darn it. What is this? About six days to get to Washington. Well, then while we're here, let's get plenty of coal so we can run hot. And let's get moving. The clock is always ticking. It's slow, but it's always ticking. All right, it's in the evening. Don't know much I can do. Let's get out of here. I do believe I've got stuff in New York. Oh, I've got an extra, I've got my other big caboose. It got really messed up, so I had to put it in for repairs. All right, then. You know what? We've got the coal. We've got the time. Let's just head for DC. Soldiers are going to stop us. Hello, Warren Quinn. Let's stop for a quick look with you. Selling weapons on the side of the railroad? You dirty black marketeer. Nobody's out there for hiring, so. A prop. Lincoln's inauguration. 
Going blind to Washington. I'm probably gonna leave Lincoln's on there for a while because. Oh, and it's daytime. I can go in here and get the bounty for Richard H. Barter. Ah, it all paid me. Half the time you gotta click. It comes over here, you gotta click on it and send it out over for payment. All right. Battle of Memphis. First Battle of Winchester. Ooh, a uh, ho hotel auction in Indianapolis. I need, I have 24 days, I need to build up money. So, I have a good route just north of here. I also need some of my rail cars so I can carry cargo. That game is a basic. This is what it looks like. Op opening and introduction to Bounty Train. I probably shouldn't be enjoying it as much as I am, but I have really gotten sucked in and really, really enjoyed it. So, there you have it. Leave me your thoughts, comments, observations, suggestions down below. Hit the like or dislike. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell so YouTube will give a crap about letting you know when I put out new stuff if you haven't already. But more than important than anything, if there's someone or something out there important to you, and whether it's up and out face to face or from the safety behind your keyboard or just picking up the phone. Get involved, make a difference. But take care, stay safe. I am the Articulate Grunt, and I'll have to catch you next time. Because for now, I'm out from here. Bye.